All right. Well, welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, it's your boy, DJ Motivation. <sighs> it's just been so long since I've sat in front of a mic. Really, it is. It has been so long. Uh, well, welcome to Faithful Over Famous podcast. Uh, this is you are tuned into the very first episode. Um, fun fact, this is probably the last episode that we're probably going to do with this set. Um, there has been so much that has happened, so much that has happened over the past month and a half that um, that we probably will talk about in the podcast. Uh, and there's probably some things we might not touch right now. Uh, might just be later on down the line. Um, however, I just want to give you guys kind of like an explanation of what this podcast is about. Uh, so you will have a clear understanding of what we are going to talk about, who uh, we're going to be talking about, um, because, you know, you got to talk about something, right? <laughs> um, so Faithful Over Famous podcast uh this podcast really is something that hit me a couple of months ago and I really wanted to just talk about the the everyday struggles that we as Christians go through. I mean, we're all humans, regardless of being Christian or not, we're all humans. You know, some of us are are eating meat and some of us are still drinking milk as Christians. Um, I do believe I'm somewhere in the middle. I thought I was eating meat a long time ago and then I had a realization that I really wasn't. So it's, um, you know, it's more of where are we at and in our Christian walk and how are we handling, uh, the day to day situations or the day to day struggles that, you know, we all go through. Uh, I was just reading something the other day, actually, Uh, I was just reading something the other day and it was talking about, you know, the problems, you know, the, the problem is, is that we turn away from God, uh, again and again and again and again, you know, we turn away from God just time and time again. And then, uh, we, whether you notice it or not, uh, as you continue to turn away from God, it gets easier and easier to turn away from God. Uh, and when that happens, we realize how comfortable, you know, that life becomes. And, uh, it's very hard to get back on track because you have, you know, put yourself in a position where you find comfort in the things that you are doing, you know, whether that is, um, you know, hooking up with boo thing, you know, or, you know, hanging out with your boys and, and smoking, you know, or, you know, I don't know. I, I, my vice is driving fast. Like I got a problem. <laughs> like I really have a problem. My wife always tells me to slow down and, um, I got tickets to prove it. Like, you know, like everybody goes through their one thing and I'm not saying, you know, driving fast is a sin per se. However, the Bible does say that we are commanded to obey the laws of the land. Um, and so with that being said, if the speed limit is 70, bro, why am I going 120? You know, like, why am I going 90? You know, like, I'm telling you, like, it's a vice. It's my vice. I, 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 something I, I deal with on a regular basis, you know? Uh, and so that's what this podcast is all about. Not me driving fast, but, you know, talking about everyday struggles that we all go through as Christians. Uh, how do we deal with those situations and then how do we get better? You know, how do we better ourselves so that we're not constantly drifting and drifting and drifting away from God? But even though we do find ourselves drifting away what do we do to bring ourselves back to God and back to the kingdom? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much what this podcast is going to be like. So, I mean, 
we're, we're as of right now, I'm the host with the most DJ motivation, you know, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, some special guests on here. Um, you know, I, I've been talking to some people and uh, I do want to feature some people on here. You know, we might have call in interviews and things like that or. You know, we just might invite somebody on the uh, the stream and we might go live with the stream. Um, but uh, for right now, let's get into it. Let's 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 get into it. You know, um, one of the things that I, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of been thinking about what I wanted to talk about. And, you know, as I've been going through praying and, you know, reading the Bible, studying up, you know, um, one of the things that I just posted recently was start before you're ready. And I'm not going to lie to you. I got all the equipment to do podcasts, video productions and everything, but I just wasn't ready and I'm still not ready. You know, like, honestly, I would, I, I would love to be, you know, similar to a pastor and look at all my notes, read all of my notes over and over, study them for, you know, a week or two, uh, and then, you know, hop in front of the camera. Um, and so that kind of is, it's like, what's your motivation? You know, like, what's your motivation to start doing what it is that you want to do? Uh, for me, you know, God spoke to me a long time ago uh, through a prophet, actually, through two prophets, actually, when I was a kid. And um, you know, they said they didn't give me an age. You know, they, I, I do remember I was like 12, 10 or 12 the first time a prophet spoke over my life. And then uh, I think I was about 15 or 16 uh, the second time a prophet. And these prophets were two, from two different countries. And I was actually in two different countries uh, when this happened. Uh, I was in Florida, Orlando, Florida, where I grew up half of my life. And uh, we had a pastor from Pastor Kianji from Uganda uh, prophesied over my life. Uh, and he it was a healing service where, you know, he had prayed over my uh, my hairline fractured knee because I was in serious pain. And one of the things that he said is that you are going to spread the gospel all around the world. And uh, I would also be playing sports. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't played sports in quite some time, but I have been, you know, trying to practice here and there. Uh, so I, I was actually looking for a basketball league to hop in and things like that. But I don't know. I might just start my own league or something like that. Um, but then when I was in Belize, um, so the first prophecy happened when I was in Orlando and the second prophecy, I was in Belize, uh, and there was a pastor or a prophet from, um, Trinidad and Tobago, and he prophesied a more in-depth, a clearer prophecy over my life that both of them actually correlated with themselves, with the, with, with each other. And uh, he said that you would be spreading the gospel around the world using computer software, uh, doing what you love. And, um, you know, he said, don't worry about, you know, the sports. You will play sports if you feel like it. And if you don't want to, you know, I'm paraphrasing it a little bit, but basically. Um, so the first so let me clarify the first prophet says you're going to spread the gospel around the world doing what you love and you'll be in sports the second prophet uh, the prophecy uh, the second prophet prophesied that I would be spreading the gospel around the world using computer software and I'll also be playing sports if I wanted to um, and so that's kind of how those two happened and then uh, pretty much after that, I would say maybe a year or two after that, I graduated high school and then I started DJing and, um, you know, I had a radio show down in Belize where I would, um, I had, uh, DJ and I was talking to artists throughout the Caribbeans and I was playing, getting my music played throughout the Caribbeans and I was playing the music, but the, the wet, the, the radio station was online. So like people in different countries could listen to it. And I mean, long story short, you know, I, I had started what uh, I believe to be what God had predestined for me. 
Uh, and it all boiled down to, you know, my name, my, my nickname, my DJ name. Um, you know, I fasted for this name to say, Hey, is this a name that, uh, God, is this a name that you want me to keep, you know, motivation, you know? So it, it boiled down to me just really praying about it and fasting about it. And it was like, you know what, Lord, I want to do what it is that you want me to do. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's been almost seven or eight years since I've like really made music hardcore, DJed hardcore, um, did anything like set in front of a mic, like interviews and anything like that. Uh, and and I've really been feeling you know, down about that, bad about that, because like I said earlier, I have everything. I run a production company. Uh, it's called Integrity Vice Productions. And, you know, there are things that you need to do a podcast. There are things that you need to do video production. I have it all. As you can see, there's a mic sitting in front of me, a 4K camera right here. You know, got an iPad sitting here in front of me, computer monitor right here, you know, lights, lights, likes, (laughs) you know, it's like I have everything. And it was just like, I, I, I still didn't feel ready. I, I still didn't feel like I had um, the right motivation to get started. Um, and so that's kind of why I, I, I preference or preference um, the, the, the thing that I said before, which was start before you're ready. And I really mean that, you know, because it's not just something that I'm saying. It's something that I have to do for myself. Because, you know, I'm always thinking about, oh, I don't want to disturb this person. I don't want to disturb that person. And I was really walking in fear more so than walking in motivation. And now that I have, I think, got past that fear of I hear my wife singing in the house, top of her lungs. Like she doesn't care about the neighbors if they anybody here. But I mean, she does sing good. So I mean, like it's difference of me singing and her singing. I need auto tune. She doesn't, you know. But it's uh, it's it's more the fact that you know she she's motivated to sing. She's motivated to worship and get that out of her system. Uh, and me on the other hand, I I was really walking in fear. I didn't want to disturb this or I didn't want to do that. Um, And that is actually cost me a lot, uh, unfortunately. Like, um, you know, I manage our artist, Cliff J, and uh, you probably heard his music and things like that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I want to do for him, but it's more of I'm walking in fear. So therefore, I don't do the things that I need to be doing or should be doing. Um, you know, and like recording music and things like that. I feel like since we've been in this apartment, I've only recorded one song and that song was Touchdown. And uh, I was actually sick when I did it. So I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm sick. Let me just knock it out. I want to do this song for my wife. And I kind of wanted to do it before a certain time period. And so I like pushed myself to do it. I had the motivation to do it. But, you know, there's other songs I've been writing and helping other people write and things like that. And it's just like, what's that motivation to keep me going? You know, so it's like, what motivates you? What gets you out of bed? You know, is it the fact that you want to spend time with God? Is it the fact that you want to make music? Is it the fact you want to make a film? You know, like what keeps you up at night? Like, I'm not going to lie. It's what is it? It's 1.50 a.m. in the morning. Am I tired? I was before I started, but like, this is what keeps me up at night. Like I constantly on a day to day basis, I'm like, I'm trying, I I want to do something. And I'm like, that motivation is there, but I, I just have that fear. So it's like breaking through that fear. Like this whole podcast was supposed to start like a month and a half ago, but I'm starting it because I'm motivated to start it is it I, I want to break through that fear of oh what do people think about the lighting what do people think about the microphone what do people think about the video you know none of that matters it really doesn't you know what matters is is that doing what God has called me to do and God has called me to be faithful over famous 
God has not called me to, you know, hop up on stage and perform to the top of my, you know, abilities and things like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's fun. If that happens again, it happens. But that's not what I'm called to do. I'm called to minister to people. And honestly, like my mom told me uh, a long time ago, I told her, I was like, listen, mom, I don't, I'm not a role model. I don't want to be a role model. I don't want to be somebody that people look up to. And unfortunately, she told me, Mark, you don't have a choice. You've been prophesied over. You've been chosen by God. You're like, you, you are a man. So regardless of the fact you're going to get married, more than likely, and your wife is going to look up to you. Uh, you're going to have kids because you're a man. You, you have a seed, you know, you, like you're going to have kids, whether you adopt or you have your own kids, you know, like, or you have a dog or something, whatever the case may be. Like people are going to look up to you. You know, your friends are going to look up to you. Your family members are going to look up to you. You know, people are going to look up to you regardless. So instead of fighting it, give into it and own it man up and own it, you know, get started before you're ready. Um, And so that's kind of, that's kind of like the mindset that I have going forward. Just get out there and do it. Like I said, I would, I got a whole bunch of notes here in front of me and I'll be honest with you. I haven't even looked over any of these notes. I wrote them. So I know what they kind of say, but am I actually prepared the way I would love to be? No, I'm not. Why? Because there was the fear, the fear of, oh, man, I got to read all these notes. Oh, man, I got to make sure I'm saying this and saying that. I got to hit that point. I got to hit this point. Like, nah, you know, the Lord told me, like, listen, just do it and I'll give you what you need to say. Just do it. Just start, you know, start before you're ready. You know, so, I mean, listen, if I check this out, motivation, like, do you have a passion for listening or helping people, you know, or listening to people, listening to or helping people, like, what's your passion, you know, it's like motivate, like, these are all the small little notes that I have, do you have passion for working with your hands or building things, you know, are you an artist, you know, these are all motivations, like, what's your motivation, Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, There are things that we need to know about ourselves. And once we get to the understanding of who we are and what we are called to do and who we are called to be, once we get that understanding, then I believe that faucet of motivation is turned on. Um, And I know what I want to do. You know, I I, want to create online courses to help people uh, and help churches mainly like grow their video production or grow their online platform and streaming and things like that. I want to help people with music. Um, But apart from all of that, like I want to spread the gospel around the world and I want to do anything and everything to help catapult that, you know, and I just sat back and I thought about it. I was like, everybody's asking me about a podcast, a podcast, a podcast. Like I don't need anybody to start a podcast. I just started. And so like, that's like my motivation It's like, my motivation is do what God has called you to do. Spread the gospel around the world using computer software. And lo and behold, this is it. You know, like I'm not streaming live right now. I might do it for my next, you know, podcast episode or whatever. But the main point is, is that I'm recording. Once this is done, it's done. Post it. It's there. If people like it, they'll share it. You know, it's it's not it's not necessarily about um, trying to get people to like the things that you do or trying to gain that following. For me, it's about uh, spreading the gospel. So taking the things that God has told me or taught me and trying to put them out to the world to hear, to feel, to understand, to see, you know, um, I've been reading, I've been reading Jeremiah, um, for some reason, like a couple days ago, it just hit me so hard to like 
read Jeremiah. So, I mean, like my Bible's like right here. You get me? I mean, it's, it's an old Bible. It's been through. And I literally just opened it up and I was like, what should I read? Like, I don't know what I should be reading. Uh, and it was just more of, I had the conviction of, listen, what do you do on a regular basis? Hmm. Well, I wake up, I try to read my Bible, but I don't make it a big priority. No, that's wrong. That's not your, that's not the right motivation. The motivation should be wake up in the morning, give thanks, spend time with God, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And so like now I'm motivated to do that because this is what I should be doing every morning. So now, you know, I, I wake up and, you know, my wife told me about it. It's like, Mark, excuse me. She was like, Mark, how, how are you going to lead us, uh, lead this house as a, a Christian household when you're not doing what you should be doing as a man of God, as the leader of the house, you're not reading your Bible. You're not praying. Like, how can you lead me as your wife if you're not doing what and 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 then trying to use the Bible against her or use the Bible in to, uh, certain situations and things like that? How can I do that if I'm not in the presence of God and not reading the Bible the way I should be reading? So that actually hit me hard. And I was like, you know what? That right there really motivated me to want to get into the Bible more and want to read the word more so I can lead my household. I don't have any kids right now. It's just me and my wife, my wife and I. And so I'm like, if I want to speak the word and use the word in my relationship and my marriage and things like that, I I can't just use what's on memory. No, I need to go through the Bible and I need to read and I need to stay uh, steadfast. I need to be steadfast and get in the word, be a good steward of the word and take my notes and study the word and pray and fast and all of that stuff, you know, uh, and all of that is first before I start working on video, before I start making music and things like that, all of that is secondary to me waking up and reading the Bible. So it's what's your motivation You know, just start before you're ready. You know, that's that was what the main thing is, is start before you're ready. And so anything that I wanted to do in life, like I'm I'm just starting it before I'm actually ready, because when you when you wait till you're ready, most of the time that's fear holding you back. You know, that's not motivation to saying, oh, yeah, tomorrow you got it tomorrow. Like, nah, just start it, you know? And, uh, one of the things that I always advise people, I was like, you know, Hey, just start it, you know? And then as you go through it, you'll see the things that you need to change things that you need to update. Um, but then I wasn't taking that own, I wasn't taking my own advice. And so that's why this podcast is like a month and a half late. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, Proverbs 19, 21 says, my plans are in man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand, you know, it would be carried out, you know, so it's like, you can think about all the things that you want to do, you know, and that can be in your mind. But if you're not lining, if that's not lining up with what God wants you to do, if God's not actually giving you that motivation to do it, then it's just going to be another idea in your brain and you're not going to do it. You're not going to want to do it. You're not going to have the motivation to do it. Now, granted, some people do have the motivation to just get it out there and they struggle while it's out there because they're like, what am I doing? Why is it not going to the place it needs to go? Why is it not reaching the people that it needs to reach? And, and at the end of the day, it just boils down to, you know, Proverbs nineteen twenty one You know, if it's God's purpose, if it's part of God's plan for your life, it's, if it's something that God has motivated you to do, then you'll be able to do it and you don't have to worry about it. You'll just get it started before you're ready and you'll get it out there, you know, because anybody can want to do something. Uh, But at the end of the day, you can have, well, you know, at the end of the day, you can have the knowledge, you can have the skill, you know, but if you would sit back and let God show you how 
you need to do it or how it should be done, then you don't have to fight as hard for that motivation because God is right there. He'll he'll motivate you to do the things that you're not ready to do. He'll motivate you and give you the words and give you the things that will catapult you into the success because success is not about money. Success is not about all of the things that you can create and things like that. No, success is just having the motivation to do the things that God has called you to do for Christians. Now, I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about Christians here. All right. So, I mean, if you are a Christian, cool. If you're not a Christian, well, I'm putting you on game, you know, plain and simple. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, everything is offered in this world, like just think about it. Like you can have money, you can have cars, you can have different vanities, you know, you can have different idols if you, you know, want to think about it, like think about it like that. You can have different idols because people worship a lot of things. People worship money, cars, jewels, jewels, girls, um, sex, you know, like drugs, like people worship a lot of different things. And that's why I said, you know, this world offers us anything and everything. I was just thinking about this um, today. We have free will. Everybody is free. And I was actually reading something. Uh, Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, Let's see. Where is it at? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Um it was saying here in uh, Jeremiah 2, what is this, 2, hold on, okay, yeah, it was Jeremiah 2, like 35 and 36, um, and 35 starts off with saying, you say I'm innocent, he is not angry with me. Uh, but I will pass judgment on you because you say I have not sinned. Uh, why do you go about so much changing your ways? You will be disappointed by Egypt as you were, as you were by the, uh, Assyria. Uh, you will, you will also leave that place. Okay. That's a wrong scripture. That is not the scripture I wanted, but, oh, okay. Here it is. It's actually, uh, Jeremiah 2. It's a couple of scriptures up. Jeremiah 2, um, 31 and 32. It's actually the end of 31 going into 32. But it says, Why do my people say we are free to roam? We will come to you no more. It's a question mark at the end of that. And so basically it's saying that, you know, everybody, this world offers everything and we have our own free will. Okay. But when we have our own free will, we're just trying to do whatever. We're just trying to, you know, get the vanity, stack up the vanities and things like that. Because if you think about it, people are always chasing money. Somebody, just think about it. Just look at yourself. What are you always chasing? What is the motivation that you have when you wake up in the morning? Is it to make sure you get to work on time? That's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, is it to make sure you get to work on time so you can stay clocked in? You can get that overtime. You can try to get that promotion. Are you chasing the money, you know, or are you cleaning your car every day? Not just the fact that you want a clean car, but you're cleaning your car every day so you can drive slow downtown and everybody can look at your new whip. Do you go out and get, you know, the flyest chick, put her on your arm, you know, for the night to just be like, yo, I want everybody to see that I got the baddest. Like, what are your vanities? You know, like a lot of people, like we have, this world offers everything. This world offers anything. Your heart's desire, this world offers it, you know? And so it's like, what's the motivation? What motivates us to do the things that we do? Is it God motivating us or are we motivated by the things that this earth gives us? You know, (laughs) Uh, you know, it's, it's. You know, it's easy. It's easy for us to want the things of this world, I would say, but it's more challenging to want the things that God 
or want is 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 harder for us to do the things that God desires for us to do. And so that's what this this I guess that's what this whole first episode is about is you know what motivates you to do the things that God wants you to do in life. You know, are you being motivated to do the things that God wants you to do in life? Are you leaning into that motivation that God is giving you or are you just leaning into the motivation to just get more money? Are you leaning in? Are you leaning into the motivation to, you know, get the hottest chick in school? You know, are you leaning in to, you know, make sure you have the freshest car on the block, you know, spending all every dime, like not even tithing. You just take the money and invest it in video games or your car or your business and things like that. Now, I'm guilty of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Like, I do feel like I have made my business, Integrity Vice Production, a, uh, a idol or a vanity. And that's something that I was motivated to get out there and 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 push it. But at the end of the day, Integrity Vice Productions, I was trying to put God in the business. and But... I wasn't putting God in the business. I wasn't waking up and reading the Bible. I wasn't praying before I go to different events and things like that. I was just working events. What happened? God slowed down business. That's what happened, you know? Uh, And I was like, yo, literally, we can have anything we want in this world. We can push and push and push and push until something happens or we can let go of everything, all the vanities of this world and lean into what God's purpose is for our life and use that as the motivation or use the motivation to do what it is that God has called us to do. So, yeah, I mean, do the things that God has called you to do, man. At the end of the day, God, God, God is already, if God hasn't told you, if you don't know what it is, like you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what it is that you supposed to be doing for God, look at your lifestyle. Are you spending the time with God? Are you praying? Are you building that relationship with God? Because if you are, the next thing that you have to do is be still and you need to listen because God is going to talk to you, but if you don't shut up, he's not going to say anything because you're constantly blabbing, you know, when I, and, and what I mean by that is you can pray and you can pray and you can pray, but meditation is indeed meditation. Like there are times you just have to be still and be quiet and just listen because the voice of the God, a voice, the voice of God is very soft. It's very gentle. It's not is is not big and boastful and, and and prideful. I mean, like it might be your own voice that God is using to talk to you. You know, I I, I mean, I can sit here and that's a whole different conversation of how do you hear the voice of God personally, uh, but you know. You really have to stop and listen to what God is telling you because God will show you the things that he wants you to do. He will give you your purpose. And when he gives you that purpose, he will motivate you to do it. And it would be like a thorn in your side. It would just be irking you and irking you and irking you to do what it is that he wants you to do. Just like this podcast. This is this podcast has been a positive thorn in my side for the past month and a half. And I go to sleep almost every other night just bummed out that I haven't done the episode. And so I'm glad without a shadow of a doubt, 20 minutes is pretty much almost done or 30 minutes actually is almost done. 30 minute podcast is done. I had three topics to talk about. I stopped on motivation. I haven't even got to procrastination (laughs) and forgiveness, you know, and what's our one mission. Literally I've been on motivation this whole time. So listen, in my last final minutes, be still, listen to what God has for you. 
God has a purpose and a plan for everybody that's out there. Once you understand what your purpose is, God will give you that motivation to do what it is that he wants you to do. Pray about it. Ask God, hey, man, what is it that you want me to do? What is that thing that you want me to do? You know, because for most people, just like me, it's spreading the gospel. It's, it's taking the gospel into the four corners of the earth, you know. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in to uh, the first episode of Faithful Over Famous. Whether it's a podcast that you're listening to or you get a chance to watch the video, you know, uh, hit me in the comments, man. And, and, and tell me what you think about what we talked about. And at the end of the day, if you just listen to it and you was like, yeah, that was dope, but I don't feel like commenting. That's fine, too, because I'm not doing this for you. <laughs> Even though I am, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because God has told me to do this. I'm doing this for him. So at the end of the day, I love y'all, but I want to do what it is that God has called me to do. And that is to take the knowledge and the wisdom that he has given me and spew it back out into the world so that you guys can draw closer to him. Not me, but to him. All right. With that, I'm out. Proverbs 1921 seems like it was the main uh, verse of this uh, podcast. And also, if you want to check out the Jeremiah um, verse that I had mentioned earlier, it's Jeremiah 2, 31 and 32. But anyways, with that, I'm out. If you guys want to listen to some good music, uh, check me out on Spotify, um, Tidal, or all of those uh, outlets and things like that. Just type in DJ Motivation. And uh, yeah, man, go follow. Go follow us. Go follow me. You know, we got, we're on IG at um, the official Mark Lopez. Uh, that's where we're going to be posting snippets and things like that of uh, the podcast and um, you know we have a business page integrity vibes productions our integrity underscore vibes I believe it's on IG um, Facebook is integrity vibes and then we have an artist page at, uh, at one DJ motivation so you know we got the different platforms but if you want to see all the snippets and excuse me you want to hear the snippets and things like that of what we're doing and what we're constantly going to be posting that's on the official mark lopez page uh i think i'm just blab blabbling <laughs> babbling at this moment so uh i'm just in it like that and uh hopefully i will see y'all or talk to y'all and y'all will be able to enjoy the second episode soon all right i'm out